I remember we were in New York at the doctor's office, Dr. McCarthy, and I was sitting in his office and I was holding Jorge in my arms. And um, the doctor said, oh, well, we need to tell you that your son has craniosynostosis. Of course, you don't know what that is. I had never heard of it before. And he said, but we can, you know, we can fix it with this procedure. We just have to open his head from ear to ear, remove the skin, remove the skull, put it in the operating table, and then put it back together like a puzzle. It's probably like 12, 13 hour long surgery. He'll need blood transfusions. And um, it might not be the first surgery because from one to five, his case is a five. So you can imagine sitting there, getting this news, and it was the worst moment I have ever had in my life. Because until that moment, until you have a child, I don't think you really know what true unconditional love is. So having him in my arms and getting this news, I just remember I would hear the doctor talking, like, but like a background, like wah, wah, and I was just holding him and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is not happening. Like, this is a nightmare. And of course, you also start thinking, how is this happening to me? You know, I've always done everything right. Like, how can this be happening? So then you're angry, you're frustrated. You, you just want to, like, start running because you don't know what to do. And, and that was the worst moment of my life right there. And the waiting for the surgery was the worst part because we had to wait nine months until he could have the first surgery. So in those nine months, I sort of separated myself from everybody, from my family, from my friends, from everybody. And I said, you know what? It's going to be me and my son against the world. And um, after he had the first surgery, then, and, and we went to see him and, and we saw that he was okay, that he had survived the surgery, that's when the why me question um, started to find answers. You know, maybe we have to be the voice for the children that have this condition. And maybe this is happening to us because we can make a difference and we can help other families that are going through the same situation. And, and that's when, you know, when I understood why me. <laughs>